Hey guys, you are watching the third part of the mouse settings on Windows 10 operating system. So let's go to the search box and search for mouse setting. Click on mouse settings. I have already made a video on these uh, settings, which is the part one of the mouse settings. And I also made a video on adjust mouse and cursor size. And that should be part two of the mouse settings. Our today's tutorial is about additional mouse options. So let's just left click on this. So this first tab, Dell Touchpad, it belongs to the touchpad of a laptop, uh, which we are not going to cover in this uh, video today. I will try to make a separate video on touchpad and will share it with you guys in the future. Let's go to the buttons tab. So the first setting is button configuration, switch primary and secondary buttons. And here we can switch the primary and secondary buttons. As I said in the first part of the mouse setting tutorial, uh, that we can switch uh, the left and right button of our mouse. It's especially useful for people who are left-handed. They can switch the mouse button from left to right. Right now I enable uh, the switch primary and secondary buttons and now my right mouse button will function as the left mouse uh, button and my left mouse button will function as the right mouse uh, button and then we have uh, double click speed double click the folder to test your settings uh, if the folder does not open or close try using a slower settings and here we can choose its speed for example I double click on this and it will open or close so from here we can choose the speed of double click and the last setting in the button tab is the click lock before that let's switch the primary and secondary buttons again and how does it work uh, it enables you to highlight or drag without holding down the mouse button to set click lock briefly press the mouse button to release click the mouse button again so let's just turn this on and i will practically show you how it works now let's go to the notepad and here i will show you practically how the click lock works to lock the click we need to left mouse click on the scroll bar once and hold it for a second so i am left clicking on the scroll bar once and then holding it for a second now i need to let go the left mouse button now i just let go the left mouse key the click has been locked now now if i move down my mouse the scroll bar will also move down and we will be able to scroll down through the page so i am just moving down my mouse now as you can see i'm not holding the left mouse key and i'm just moving down the mouse and it is scrolling down all the text or when i move my mouse up it will also move the text up so to unlock the click once again we need to left click again and it will unlock and i just left click and it unlock now i'm, I'm moving the mouse up and down but it is not scrolling up or down because uh, the click is not locked now. The other usage of this can be when selecting a piece of text or a paragraph. I will left click on the beginning of this line and hold the left click for a second. So I just clicked and now I will let go the left mouse key. Now the click has been locked. If I move my mouse to the right or if I move it down, it will select the area of the text that I want. Let's say I want to select up to here. When I want to unlock the click, I will just left click once and it will unlock the click for me. And there you go. Now I'm moving my mouse here and there but it is not selecting any text. So these were the two ways that you can use the lock click. So that's that in here. And then let's go to the pointers. And here we have different kinds of pointers that we can choose from. The scheme is none. If I choose a magnified system scheme, choose this one, click on apply. And then as you can see, the mouse has just changed to a different one enable pointer shadow you can see the shadow behind the pointer in here if i disable this and click ok we cannot see the shadow behind the pointer so our third tab is pointer options and here we can choose the speed of our pointer if i grab it to the right side it will become faster as you can see the mouse is now much more faster if i grab it to the left side 
it will become slower as you can see now the mouse is moving very slowly but i will keep it in the middle display pointers trail if we check this it will display a tail of pointers as you can see in here there is the tail behind our pointer and then we have hide pointer while typing when we check this option when we are typing the pointer will disappear so let's check this click on apply and then come to the notepad now here is my mouse as I start typing the mouse will disappear as you can see the mouse has just disappeared and I don't see the pointer it's because I checked that option and here it says show location of pointer when I press the control key if we check this one uh, whenever we are working on a large document and we want to see where our pointer is then we can press the control key and it will show it to us let me show this practically to you click on apply and then come here so as I'm typing the pointer has disappeared now I want to see where the pointer is so I will just click on the control button on our keyboard and there we go it shows us where the pointer is we have already worked with this option in the first part of uh, this mouse setting series uh, in here as you can see roll the mouse wheel to scroll multiple line or one screen at a time so we have already done that let's come to the hardware part and here we can see if we have the updated driver for our mouse or not so I will click on my mouse and then I can go to the properties and here it shows general information this device is working properly then we have another tab by the name of driver so in here we can see the details about our mouse driver we can update the driver we can disable the mouse from here or we can uninstall our mouse device from here and then the detail and then we have events so this was the third and last part of the mouse settings uh, on Windows 10 operating system I hope you have enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more video I will see you guys next time